Hello everyone, today we'll look at a project that shows how to build our own agent in N8N to integrate with our UI. So it's not just a chatbot, but a more interesting real-time interaction with our interface. We'll try to implement this on the basis of a dashboard that monitors financial transactions and helps us detect and identify fraudulent activities. Here, we have the main interface of the application. The UI was created using the cursor IDE with the help of a few short prompts, allowing me to quickly launch a React-based application and integrate it with a Firebase database. Let's take a look at how it works. First of all, you can see a data table. This data comes from Firebase and is loaded here at startup. There's also a Google map that takes coordinates from the database and displays them as markers on the map. When you click on a row in the table, you can see the transaction details on the map. Alternatively, you can click on a marker on the map to view the transaction details as well. Now, let's launch the chat. This chat is embedded using an embedding link from N8N. We open the chat and enter our first message. Show me operations from Miami. A request is triggered and we see that the map is filtered, the markers are updated accordingly, and the table is also filtered. And a summary message with all relevant transactions is displayed. Let's try another request. Show me all operations by user Richard Lee. The request is processed and a summary with the relevant transactions is returned. Next, let's look at how our backend is structured. We orchestrate multiple AI agents. There is a main agent that determines whether the user's query should just be handled contextually or if it needs to query Firestore. There is also a query building agent that constructs the actual request. This agent follows specific rules to build the query and has a structured output parser. After executing the query, two blocks of code run, the data saver, which saves the data for later use in the response message. The primary key parser, which extracts primary keys from the query and applies filters in a separate filter table. Once the key-based filter is applied, the dashboard UI is updated. Everything is then merged and passed to another agent, which summarizes the information and provides insights about the transactions. Now let's see this in action with the chat. We open the chat again and request, show me operations from Miami. The main agent understands the request and passes it to the query builder, which builds and executes the Firestore query. The data saver stores the result and the PK parser extracts the primary keys and updates Firestore. This information is then passed to the summarizer agent. Next we ask, why are these transactions fraudulent? The agent understands that no database query is needed and simply provides a reasoning or conclusion on why the transaction may be considered fraud. In the next video, I'd love to explore how we can use Cursor IDE to build agents using the OpenAI agent SDK and then hook them up to a no-code platform to create a slick UI. Thinking of trying something like Flutterflow for the front end, but I'm open to ideas. If you've got any cool business case concepts or features you'd like to see in action, just drop them in the comments. Let's bring one to life together.